BBC Radio Cornwall. An appeal in the memory of a Cornish toddler who died from a rare skin reaction has raised £100,000 since it was launched in 2008. The Joe Way appeal has given money to 20 charities in Cornwall and beyond. BBC Radio Cornwall's Chris Ellis has been to Newquay to speak to his father, Matt Way. Joe was so inspirational and he, he dealt with all his problems in, in such a great way. He was always smiling, always a happy child. It's been amazing. Over the last four years, we've raised over £100,000 and it's, it's been incredible, people's generosity. I mean, it's a real uh, tribute to Joe's story and, and we're really touched. Joe passed away in 2008. What happened to him? Well, when Joe was born, he was a normal baby. We didn't think there was any problems. After a, uh, he was a week old, he had meningitis. Uh, which was a real scare and we, we went through the mill you know for that first few weeks and then again we didn't think there were any problems then he started to have delayed issues and feeding problems and we thought this was all linked to the meningitis and it, it wasn't until he was 18 months old that we came across a consultant that recognized some of the traits that he had and tested him for Angelman syndrome which is a rare genetic condition and there's um, like with all these conditions a big spectrum of, of of what that entails for the child. Joe was at the far end of it, unfortunately, so uh, his mobility was uh, very poor. Um, he wouldn't be able to sort of uh, have any speech. He'd always need full-time care. So these were all things we had to come to terms with as, as uh, you know, parents, that this was a, a you know, a life-changing um, condition. And, uh, you know, we, we got through that and we worked quite hard and, and tried to be positive about it. But then he had Stephen Johnson syndrome, which is also very rare, and uh, that basically blistered his body outside and inside. He was very ill for many months up at Trelisk and then uh, had complete organ failure, and that's when he became life-limited. Uh, he had so much damage done from that reaction and trying his body trying to cope with that that, uh, that, that was, we knew we were on borrowed time. After his death, you created a website to tell people about Joe's story. People have then donated money what charities have you helped? We've obviously given £70,000 to Little Harbour and worked with Shelterbox, Cornwall Hospice Care, uh, Cornwall Blind, and we've also been involved with some families. And I believe the money has also helped a boy in Pakistan. Well, it was a, a six-year-old boy who had the Stephen Johnson's uh, reaction, and it, it does completely blister your, your body, and, and although Joe didn't have his eyes affected. Uh, Ali did have his eyes affected, so that left him in a lot of pain. We, uh, we sort of instigated some funding and, and helped get him over to have some eye surgery, which has not brought his sight back, but has improved his quality of life no end. It was life-changing for the family, and he's now in a school in Karachi for, for children with the blind, and he would never have had that opportunity if we weren't sort of privileged enough to help them. How have you coped with the loss of Joe? We knew for, for probably a year and a half that he was going to die. There was no question of that. It was just a case of when. And you sort of live with that, and it's surprising how it's always sitting there on your shoulder, and you think you're preparing yourself all the time, but when that moment actually comes, and the finality of it, you're never ready for it. it it's a life-changing moment, and it, it's as real as it was uh, uh, today, as it was back four years ago. What do you think Joe would have made of what's happened since, since his death? Well, I mean, he, he was such a character. He loved having lots of people around him. We've always tried to do everything in a sort of almost party positive attitude where, you know, people go away smiling but move to do something. So, yeah, he, he'd love it. He'd love it. Matt Way ending that report by Chris Ellis.